Well, 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 but anyway, what's up, everybody? It's your Corey, aka GQ Saint, back in the reaction video. Once again, I'm back. I'm sorry, I've been posting this past week. Just been too busy to post. I kind of, well, it's going through a certain part of my body. I was kind of hurt when feeling well. I have suffered from muscle inflammation around my tri, around this area, shoulder all the way down my tri. So I don't know what was wrong with me. So, and I had to go to the doctor, gave me some pain medication. I don't know what I did to pull it. I really ever pull a muscle. So, anyway, let you know, I'm back, y'all. Decided to go again to video. So, I decided to do a Watch Mojo version, which about video games, because you know, we got some good. Well, so many video games are supposed to be coming out later this year. Don't know what the game I'm most excited for is definitely I'm going to say some the Black finally that song Wu Kong game Black Myth Wu Kong and also that Final Fantasy. So this watch mojo going top ten best remakes. So once again, this is their own personal list. We don't know what to expect. Anyway, let's get on to it, y'all. Last of Us. Last of Us was great. Welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top ten. Crash Bandicoot, my childhood. So King long as Hearts. the remake was a PlayStation exclusive before or after, counts for our consideration. Okay, yeah, this is the best uh, PlayStation remake. Yeah, this is what they're talking about. Number ten. The last yeah, I love all. He's got everything to do with that little girl. The series was great. I'm ready. I'm ready for season two. Right. It might be a minute though for a while. To Naughty Dog's credit, the original Last of Us was improved upon here. Many of the mechanics, controls, and AI within Part Two helped the predecessor shine here. Yes, we know the PS4 remaster was just as good and is still widely playable today. However, for those who somehow still haven't played it, The Last of Us Part One was a good jumping off point. So long as you didn't exactly, it was. Yeah. Miss Joel. Number nine, Medieval. I think I want to play Medieval once. The original game was an instant classic. Yeah, I remember playing this game. I never did play full game. I think my one of my reels is how we play. Back when they were playing the demos, a bunch of the demos, see so show a bunch of demos, of other video games. This was one of them. And then I played the actual game when it came out. I never did fan shit. Sir Daniel Fortescue retains his cartoony, jawless look in the land of Galamir. <laughs> yeah. Every level looks just how it looked in 1998, but with significantly better textures, controls, and visuals. Yeah, I was a kid. I'd love to go back and play the original Medieval. Developer Other Ocean Emeryville tucked it away as an unlockable for beating the remake 100%. Really? Nice. Number 8, Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix. Yeah. I played all the Kingdom Hearts. Pretty good. I like I like Kingdom Hearts. I still haven't decided which was my favorite Keyblade. It was kind of necessary if you wanted to get into the series if the first game has an H2 well in terms of control. But due to the most of the game's assets getting lost, director Tetsuya... We were so ready when we finally got Kingdom Hearts 3, and man, it's been long years coming. ...that were desperately needed. Nightmare Fair, poor privilege, Jazz Skeleton. All of the music was redone and took full advantage of the PS3's audio output. Combat and controls were made to handle similarly to Kingdom Hearts 2. Ah, the Coliseum. ...accessible to newcomers and more replayable. It may not be exactly like the original, but 1.5 Remix was the hero we needed to preserve the first game. If we stick together, we're unbeatable. Not even Hercules stands a chance. Hercules. <laughs> With these guys beside me, I'm ready for anything. Number 7, Spyro Reignited Trilogy. I'm definitely a huge fan of Spyro. I love Spyro. I pretty much... The only Spyro game was I did not like was Enter the Dragon. In terms of graphics, though, they could definitely benefit. The story is felt so short in the bland. It felt like they didn't give no effort to it at all. As far as original trilogy, yes, I love the original trilogy. It's still my favorite to this day. Exuded personality and no longer looked like expressionless muscles. Levels saw the extra work and were only redesigned in small areas, 
where it was absolutely necessary. And Steve Copeland's new rendition of his music from the original games was just as fantastic as it was decades ago. Our only complaint was that they couldn't seem to fix all that trouble with the trolley nonsense. But first, let me tell you a story. No <laughs> thanks. See ya! Number six, Pac-Man World Repack. That man is a, I'm going to say, OG video game here. The most aggravating part of the original Pac-Man world was how it was designed to fight back against the game rentals at the time. Just look at the cave. I think I'm going to play the, the Pac-Man world once. The original, the original In addition to increasing Pac-Man's speed, every level got a major... major and my cousin, he ran it. I think he best one that I I think Blockbuster was still open. Every level I never really game for Blockbuster. Fights with the placement of collectibles. Boss fights like Anubis Rex saw some major tweaks to make their fights more exciting and satisfying. And the checkpoint system, way more reasonable than the original. We're seriously hoping that remakes for World 2 and World 3 are already underway. Number 5, Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot, Death of Fan and Crash Bandicoot. Back at 8 when me, my cousins, my brother, we, so we got school. Well, her mom made sure we did our homework first. We got on to Crash Bandicoot. Spyro, Crash began the surge of PS1 remakes with the Insane Trilogy. For the first time in over a decade, the original Crash Bandicoot titles were finally being brought forward and given a fresh coat of paint. Vicarious Visions really knocked it out of the park with the character animation, level yeah. and light. I love spinning people. All the current cast reprised their roles with the original writing left and tap. Yeah, Clancy Brown. Finally received a Cortez, a Clancy Brown played Les Luthor in the and anime and series of Superman. And also, now everybody knows this, he also voices Mr. Krabs. Cause he got a very, very distinctive voice, which pretty much suits him as playing a villain. Roger Clank. Roger Clank. Roger, yeah. While many would argue this 2016 reboot is nothing like the original games, well, it is. The family-friendly tone has been a part of the series since Tools of Destruction. And given how mean Ratchet is, yes. the first game, the remake is sorely needed. I know they made the movie. I, I still yet to see the movie. I've heard too many good things about the movie. Ratchet acting less snarky. You must be Big Al. It is nice to meet you. I am Clank. This is Ratchet. The best part was how we were given a better backstory for both Quark and Dr. Nefarious without the narrative losing complete control like in the original. Everything makes more sense here in terms of the lore, the story, and more importantly, the characters. Now promise me you'll get that infobot to Captain Quark. I promise. Thanks for your help. Number three, Demon Souls. Demon Souls. The original Demon Souls. I meant to get his game when it came out, when the remake, but Ultimate Self for Ghost of Tsushima what was not disappointing. I love Ghost of Tsushima. I st I want a sequel of Ghost of Tsushima so bad because that game was that was the best. In my opinion, that was the best game in 2020. And that game, it took about two years for that game to fully drop when they were working on it. Like I said, take your time and see the great result. Buttery smooth 60 frames per second. It looks insanely beautiful. Just look at so the yeah. environment. I might get this game. I might download this game. Yeah, some games actually go with my board homeboy game stop. I played the original, really enjoyed it. I meant to get this, I might download this one as well too. Much like Demon Souls, the first iteration of Shadow of the Colossus was great on PlayStation 2 and on PlayStation 3. The thing is that those controls were rather cumbersome. Once again, Blue Point Games swoops in. Yeah, they were tricky, but I really enjoy Shadow Colossus. The PlayStation 4 version refined the controls and even presented a better control scheme that lined up with modern action games at the time. Taking advantage of the PS4's visual fidelity was already with sold us. Fixing a major design problem? Huh. Well worth the asking price. <laughs> it does. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos. Number one, Final Fantasy VII Remix. Okay, yes, I agree. I believe one, they should put Resident Evil 4 Remake on this, because Resident Evil 4 Remake was a hit. But yeah, Final Fantasy VII, this is my 
one of my favorite Final Fantasy Final Fantasy games. And Cloud is still to say my favorite Final Fantasy character. How do you even approach that? I love the story. Well, you fix what was broken, retell the story in a more cohesive way, have your composer yeah. arrange the music to create pieces more refined than the original. Sephiroth is one of my favorite Another villains as well, tragedy, too. A small orchestra to a grand symphony of stellar combat, brilliant storytelling, and do it all with a fun attitude and a smile on your face. Please make sure you play Final Fantasy VII Remake before you go jumping into Rebirth. There's still so much. Yes, you need to. What's the best PlayStation Remake you think? Did it make our list? Let us know down in the comments. Death of Final Fantasy VII. To watch I think it's trigger PlayStation on because. I think Resident Evil 4 came on multi-platform, so yeah, I just saying this is PlayStation. This, like I said, this is a PlayStation list, sure like this. this video here so on yeah, it makes list. sense. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest. Video. Okay, I'm gonna stop it right there. But yeah, that was a pretty cool video. So I really enjoyed it. So anyway, yeah, I don't know why I said Resident Evil. I think they should have did a multi-platform remake, but. Anyway, like I said, looking forward to some games that's supposed to be showing out, coming out this year. Anyway, let me know how you feel about the list. Once again, make sure you give a like, comment, and subscribe. And fantastic day, y'all. I might draw this by, it depends how long it takes the video to end. And anyway, peace.